Yo, hello everyone, and welcome back again to a brand new video. Leverage the power of Outlook within Microsoft Teams. This tutorial outlines the process of integrating Outlook with Teams, enabling easier email access and management directly from your collaborative workspace. So, guys, without further talking, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, basically, if you're talking about Outlook, Microsoft Teams, connecting them together, well, you are already working with Outlook. So you are already connected to Microsoft Teams at the same time. If you want here to search for people or you either search for the apps that can be added here, there is already Microsoft Teams inside of your apps as you would always find so this is for example as app outlook onedrive word uh, teams excel notes to do and of course microsoft teams to next to them so once you talk about connect to microsoft teams simply all you need to do is to click on microsoft teams as you can see and then click on continue and simply right after that you have simply create an account on Microsoft Teams using your Microsoft Outlook account. So with that being said, simply just as you can see, they are using our email as uh, the email that we log in into Microsoft Teams. Click on continue and simply this is it. So let's start, for example, a uh, new chat. So I can start here, new chat. And now let's say that I want to make a call. So I can create a new meeting. Get a link to share or something starts meeting hello everything so here we go we are in the meeting here we go join now and simply now we can literally here use this functions to share it in uh, our outlook account you can start now using the connection between these two accounts to actually start sharing microsoft teams uh, like meetings or chat with our microsoft outlook account so let's go here for example let's share via outlook calendar as you can see here so simply the next thing to do to wait for it to load and we will be able to actually load our account on uh, or our meetings that we have created in our uh like microsoft uh, uh outlook account also here once i have created like a new team account i have had here this email about it so outlook team here it is as you can see we have received an email from uh, microsoft team in our uh, inbox so here let's try for example to write chat here or something uh, we can do a lot of things and we can literally make a community and once you create a community every single message will start like really getting uh, you'll start getting annoyed so this is something that i don't like about microsoft community is the fact that once i someone types something in those community chats well you will not be able to actually stop them from sending or notify notifying you so this is very annoying but in general this is a way this is a very known way on how you can connect your microsoft teams with your microsoft outlook which is the easiest at the moment if you want something more complicated if you want to make an automation well you should simply use zapier zapier is very known in the market it is a third app party it is third party app i mean that will help you to do a lot of things so starting with the link this is zapier.com the link of it and basically guys to go to anywhere we should start with connecting to your account so start to connect your account you can connect with your outlook account you could connect with your gmail account or to connect with your facebook slash x slash apple account whatever fits you the best you can use it so after you do so simply head up to apps right here click on them and then you simply have to search for the desired app so here in my case i would search for outlook microsoft outlook connect so here we go now simply they will take us here accept give them all the permissions that they need so we can be good to go here we are and now the next thing is to search for microsoft teams so let's do that here teams and microsoft teams connect and the same thing will be done uh, give them all the access as you could see here right in front of us 
and we have made of who Zapier cannot connect your account, personal accounts are not supported, please use a work or school account. So this is the thing, we have to create an account on Microsoft Teams using a school or work account. So simply just head up to your account settings, manage accounts, and try to get plans or upgrades and make it like premium features, which will allow you to actually have it as a work account, not as any random normal account. So this is the only thing that you have to do to make your account actually change from like work account or like normal account to your own uh, like work account or study account. You can just use your school account that will be helping you as well. If you do have school account on Outlook, it will be very helpful as well so after you connect both apps what you need to do next is to simply head up to both of them on the app section let's search for first for outlook so here we go here what i'm going to do is to simply click on this three point test connection to see if it is connected successfully so the test has been gone successfully and this is what you want now let's go and create a zap which is the most important stuff here which is the most important part in this video so here as you can see guys uh, this is where we have to write our prompt and basically if you are familiar with chat gpt or any ai prompts are very easily to use or to deal with it is basically a text that explains what you want to do exactly using this app so here as an example uh, what would you like to automate i want whenever a meeting is created on microsoft teams notify me on my outlook account and just like that click on generate and here we go so now we just have to wait and it should be good to go so here the zap it should be created so here we go notify outlook about new microsoft teams meeting so new chat microsoft teams it will send us an email so let's try it out now the first thing to do is to make sure to connect to our microsoft account so there we go now click on continue go all the way down continue and then you can either skip this or test the test and now we don't want it to do that so and then you should connect your microsoft teams account as well so simply just click and do the same thing continue skip test and you will need to go now after you're done with that simply what you need to do is go here to this section make sure to publish the zaps and to turn it on right after you do so you will be able to start working with the connection and each time now you have created like new chat in your microsoft teams and your email will be sent to your microsoft outlook account so yeah guys that was it for today's video if you do have any more questions make sure to leave them down below in the comment section i will make sure to read all of your questions one by one thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial